Coming at you with another Marvel Snap deck highlight today with one I'm referring to as Zero Dracula, since these are the two key cards that really aren't replaceable in this shell. Dracula, four energy, zero power card here, but at the end of the game, you discard a card at random from your hand, and this takes on its power, as well as zero, a one energy, three power card that removes all abilities from the next card that you play. Both of these effects play very well with Red Skull, a five energy, 15 power card that typically has a detrimental ongoing effect of giving enemy cards at its location plus two power. If we combo this with zero, or just a five energy, 15 stat line thing that's well above rate, or if we discard it to Dracula, we get 15 stats for four power without that detrimental ongoing effect. Also at the top of end of our curve to combo with Dracula is the Infinite with six energy, 20 power. It is worth noting that Infinite does not combo explicitly with zero. You can't zero on five into wiping away Infinite's text on six to play it out. But if we want to pass on five, we are leveraging Sunspot as one of our many one drops in this deck to soak up those five points of energy. Speaking of one drops, this deck is really good at swarming the board early with high stat or disruptive one drops such as as Iceman. Things like Titania and Ebony Maw that generally have detrimental effects also work very well with our zero card. And as we move into our twos and threes, armor is definitely worth calling out here as a way to protect our high power one drops from things like opposing Killmongers. Maximus rounds out our earlier plays with big stat lines, as well as being another card that's good for zero to strip away a detrimental effect from. If you're looking to budget copies of some of the cards in this deck, Swordmaster is an excellent replacement for Maximus, Rocket Raccoon easily slots in over to Tanya, and Red Skull could be another large setted thing such as Destroyer or slightly less effective being something like Atuma. At any rate, if you, I hope you enjoy the games that I have for you today. I think they do an excellent job of showcasing this deck's big numbers into play quickly, as well as its small disruptive elements over the course of the matches that I have for you here. Remember, if you do enjoy them, to tap that like button to help this content reach more people. And if you happen to be new here, consider subscribing to the channel. I post deck highlights like this seven days a week, and I'd love to see you back again. But for the rest of today, enjoy some Zero Dracula gameplay. I think especially with Elysium in play, there's no reason to rush to play any of these out. Yes, I agree, Composer. The fact that you get 10 free cubes, essentially, when you hit a breakpoint, I think is a good compromise on rank floors. Dracula doesn't mind the cult yet. Play him, play him out in the Yotun. When he discards his card at the end of the game, he sets his power to the target. So it overcomes all of the negatives here. Joke's on you, opponent. Thanks for playing your arrow into Jotunheim. Good chat. Good chat. I think we're still just five in. I think we're still just five in. Mighty, mighty cold in Jotunheim this time of year, chat. Mighty cold. Am I playing Infinite on out? I think I'm playing Infinite on out. This deck is very good against Leech. Agree with that. I guess we could get Leader this turn. Makes the Infinite up in. Just double Dino. Okay. Is Dracula going to seven enough? It might be. This will put me to seven, 13, 17, 18, 19. And they're gonna be at nine, so they need to play a 12 power thing here. Not a good break either way. I'm gonna feel okay about it. Oh, I forgot about leadering Max 
giving us, um... I forgot about Leadering Max giving us uh, another card here. Hit the Red Skull! Hit the Red Skull! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff right there, chat. I guess, uh, even if we hit the Ebony Maw, even if we hit the Ebony Maw, we were still gonna be minus eight, right? And minus eight puts us to 19, which wins. So we were 66% we were to win there. We high rolled the Red Skull, but we were 66% to win there. Sweet first game. So we get to go Sunspot into the big house, and then we get to go Armor Ebony Maw into the house on, uh, on the next turn. I can't tell if my opponent's mad I sunspotted their armor path or if they're just upset that we paid to win. And we have the we have the fancy sunspot. Although it's funny, um leeching our hand would have actually been good for us, right? Like, I, I feel satisfied having stopped their leech, but also, um, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't? How do I feel about Soak into Infinite? Is Soak into Infinite better or is Max into Red Skull better? Max into Red Skull plays for more paths and is a little bit less obvious what we're doing. So I think I, I think I prefer that. Red Skull could break leader parity, that's true. How many friends are going to New York, chat? Even if I move Ebony Ma, I still can't play here, right? Oh, I can't, wait, I can? No. Oh, that's funny. So the animation goes here. Yeah, this still locks out of playing even if we move this. I think I'm moving Ebony Ma and going hard over here to play for all three paths, kind of split. So I'm kind of expecting them not to play here. This play loses to Dr. Doom though. They're retreating, okay. Victory. They have priority here. Hopefully they're a Bucky deck and they Bucky here and then the armor gets them. A snap in advance since we've got the armor. Want to snap before you show them that you're good play? So if you're about to armor their Nova, you want to snap beforehand. Be happy to slide Ebony Maw over here with Iceman. Again, just chilling on Titania. Wind, aid my hand. Yes, Krokies is the number one magic streamer by a lot. Yeah, this Ice Band variant's up there for me too. It's an excellent piece of art.
Oh, doing a sub goal for a special stream type. Um, I don't know that I really want to do a push incentive for me personally. I'm planning to do, uh, I'm coordinating putting together a, a charity stream thing or two, um, early next year. So we'll do some, we'll do some fun incentives for our charity goals next year, but I already, I already make a pretty, pretty all right living with what's going on here on Twitch and YouTube already. So I'm going to save the extra pushes to do some good for the world. I think we just pass here. Can we chill on this might be our last turn play. Catch you later, good guy. You can sub to Tanya for Rocket Raccoon in this deck. I think you could sub Red Skull for Destroyer. It's a little bit worse on Curve, but similar effect. And Maximus could be Swordmaster, I think, are other replacements. Well, that actually just worked out great now, right? Because they have priority, we go second. And then we have all these cheap cards, and then Red Skull. Yeah, this is, this is perfect, right? What up? This is... All right, I, I wonder if they get us with something. This has been an impressive game for our deck so far. Are they Silver Surfer? Victory. I think they're Surfer. Yeah, solid disruption for us. So we just like got to not care about Goose. Not caring about Goose is a big nod for this deck. We're going to go to how much power here, right? This is 7, 12, 14. We put 29 into play basically here. Really slick. man in the middle. Insert Spooderman meme here. I think I have to play this. Oh, oh wait, I can just play it here in the dark dimension, right? Yeah, score. Easy dub. Armor in the middle and probably play Sunspot here afterwards. Death by Chan. Thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Someone in Chan asked, why not Angela in this deck? Because the net deck I was given to start with was not playing her. And I think one of the best things you could do when you're starting with a list from someone else is play it card for card for a little while to get a feel for it before you make changes. Because the person that built that deck probably had reasons for playing the cards that they put in it. Morning, Holat. Thanks for dropping by. I'm gonna play Max and Nightcrawler. We'll just draw Dracula like a professional. Or. They could be a total champ and leech us. Look at the sportsmanship this opponent provides, chat. A true gentleman and scholar. No abilities, no problem. Beep, 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 beep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, leech now. Come on, leech now. Take my abilities. Do, 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 do. Oh, lad, thanks for the brand new sub as well. Really appreciate the support. Folks like you make my job possible. If they lead her here, we lose right, but we win center and left, I, I'd wager. And if they lead her here or here, moving the Nightcrawler beats them here. And then we should win one of these other ones as well. Victory. Yeah, get out of here. I 
Iceman, get that disruption going. Are we just bought Machine World? Yeah, this is bought Machine World, right? Well, maps in the middle for now, and then we'll Cosno on Monster Island next turn, I think. Center here, shrink their lizard. I guess the question is do I think nine can win Machine World? They look like a leech leader deck. I think there's a chance nine wins Machine World. Oh my God, we win because we soak, right? Yeah, buddy. Sick game. Yeah, and the, the few of these decks that play cards that are bigger than nine are almost always playing Magneto, which meant we were also good here. Lovely. Well, we we didn't we the Magneto discard was for the extra rub. We didn't need that, but it was it was funny to have. a tempo max angle chat i think this is a tempo max angle it's always tough playing this card on three if you like but i think this is correct <laughs> all right fair is fair fair is fair everybody's happy uh i think i'm draculaing here and then we'll swarm the nidvuller next turn the folks commenting we have a lot of mods and they're fast on this channel yeah uh i give people mod status when they've subscribed to the channel for a year because usually i assume if you've hung around and given me money for an entire year you probably understand how i want things to be moderated actually kind of kind of reasonable right we go this here this here this here and then next turn we go zero the red skull plus titania and then we have a 50 percenter to get dracula damn they didn't leech me yet I 
do this. I think I'm gonna do this. Yes, all forms of subs. What kind did I make before Snap? Magic, magic the Gathering. Uh, Snap streaming is higher in terms of viewer count than Magic the Gathering streaming was. My average viewer count doing Magic the Gathering for the last year was about eight to 900. My average viewer count under Snap for the last month is about a little over 2,000. I didn't switch for the sake of having more viewers. It's a nice happenstance. I enjoy having more viewers. But we definitely, we definitely switched because uh, we weren't particularly happy with Magic lately. We should be good to go here, right? We don't even need a coin flip now? Yeah, we lose, we lose the Dracula and we get him? Yeah, sick. This deck, this deck has just been stuff. I don't think we've been Magnetoed once today and then they won the lane the Magneto was in. We just get a... Nightcrawler is lovely into Shuri's Lab. Get to get bigger and then get out. Poor Armor. Armor just wants to protect chat. Why would you, why would you stop Armor from protecting? Oh, well, that's aces. We get to go Nightcrawler double shift it over into Murray and start collecting bonuses. Love it. As a general note, when talking about possible swaps in a deck like this, cards that I have put in the deck name are generally not replaceable without the deck becoming significantly worse. In my opinion. I think this is a soak Red Skull Titania on the last turn. Well, you we can't soak, but pass Red Skull Titania on the last turn. Maybe Infinite. I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to play stuff out here, huh? Vision is terrifying. Do you think they bail on the lab? What are the odds they bail on the lab? What if I, is this crazy? Call me maybe. I'm gonna put money on them bailing on the lab. Hit me dealer. Great. One in three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the... That's the good stuff right there, Chet. Sometimes lucky. Thanks for being one of the awesome people that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember your likes and comments help videos grow with engagement and be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I post Marvel Snap game news updates, deck highlights, and other fantastic stuff here seven days a week. We hope to see you back again real soon.